space exploration is advancing rapidly. Within the last century, we have launched the first rocket, sent a man to the moon, and explored distant planets. Though these soaring advancements come with some moments of confusion, be it from an old photograph, an unexpected discovery or a strange occurrence. NASA is at the forefront of astronomical developments and missions, and over the years they've made countless discoveries, helping us to better understand what's out there in the cosmos. One thing that they're often faced with is the constant reports of strange objects seen close to the International Space Station, and although they have commented that some of these can be explained away as things like space debris, planets and satellites, there's some that they've remained quiet about. Back in 2016, someone was watching the live cameras from the International Space Station, and they noticed something strange in the background. The object, which was described by the individual as looking like a ship, allegedly approached the space station before the cameras were shut off. Amateur researchers who have looked into these accounts have said this often happens when a strange object approaches the International Space Station. Although NASA has said the reason this happens is because the signal drops, which then causes the video feed to cut out. Regardless, the individual was quickly able to take a screenshot of what they were seeing, and since then different theories have been put forward to try and explain what this thing is. It's actually a pretty clear photograph, and we're able to make out various different things. For example, it looks like this thing has arms coming off it, while others described it as being in the shape of a star. Skeptics have said the object likely has a more earthly origin, and suggested it could have been something like a satellite. NASA said that it's space debris, and that when these objects approach the space station they can take on a different appearance. Believers have said that hundreds of these objects have been reported close to the International Space Station, saying that they come in all shapes and sizes. Another one that they've said NASA has been silent on is that of a giant triangle. They noted though that the same thing happens every time one of these objects shows up. NASA declines to comment, and the live feed shuts down. It's not just everyday people who have expressed their interest in this topic. Some astronauts have been quite vocal about what's been reported. Dr. Brian O'Leary, former NASA astronaut, said the following. There is abundant evidence that we're being contacted that civilizations have been visiting us for a very long time, that their appearance is bizarre from any kind of traditional materialistic western point of view, that these visitors use the technologies of consciousness. They use toroids. They use co-rotating magnetic disks for their propulsion systems. They seem to be a common denominator of the UFO phenomenon. Gordon Cooper has also commented on these mysterious objects. Major Gordon Cooper has been part of a number of top secret missions in space, with several revolving around the use of highly advanced technologies to locate locations of interest. Interestingly, during one of his many space missions, he'd claimed to come into contact with an extraterrestrial craft. During Gordon Cooper's space mission, that included a solo journey with a planned 22 orbit trip around the Earth, he claimed to have seen a glowing object that appeared to be a bright green, and it began to slowly approach his spacecraft as he viewed it through the porthole. Additionally, the approach of the object was also picked up by the tracking station located in Australia, confirming Cooper's encounter. This would lead to the astronauts eventually agreeing to take on a two-day mission, in which he would work to analyse footage and evidence of extraterrestrial visitations that would eventually lead him to giving a speech to the United Nations to discuss his findings. During his speech, he described later coming across evidence of extraterrestrial crafts, going on to say the following, I saw with my own eyes a defined air of ground being consumed by flames, with four indentations left by a flying object, which had descended in the middle of a field. Beings had left the craft, there were other traces to prove this. They seemed to have studied topography. They had collected soil samples and eventually they returned to where they'd come from, disappearing at enormous speed. Gordon Cooper would later go on to be a key figure in the awareness movement, 
and claimed that his studies and findings were being covered up by the United States government, under the claim that it was a national security threat for inciting panic. Despite his many years of working for the government and assisting with efforts during many secret missions, Edgar Mitchell was the sixth person to walk on the moon's surface. He piloted the Apollo 14 lunar module, the first Apollo mission attempting to carry out scientific experiments on the moon. He pursued a military career, joining the US Navy as a pilot in 1948, and was selected by NASA in 1966 to become an astronaut. However, it was towards the end of Mitchell's career, and after his retirement, that he became the focus of discussion about the potentially paranormal events that occur in space, and those that he himself had experienced. It was during the Apollo 14 mission, unbeknownst to the world that things began to get a little weird with Edgar Mitchell. After experiencing what he described as a spirit above creation, Mitchell became ever more interested in the paranormal phenomena and consciousness. He began to conduct ESP experiments, experimenting with psychic abilities such as telepathy, and this was on board the Apollo 14 module. Chillingly, Mitchell's experience did seem to have an effect on him. He and a group of psychics later alleged that they shared mental communications whilst he was in orbit. He later founded the Institute of Noetic Sciences, which continued the experiments he had been conducting in private and in space. During his lifetime, Mitchell consistently testified to the existence of UFOs. In 1996, in an interview on the American TV program Dateline, Mitchell stated that UFO contact is very strong, and that the US government was covering up visits and crashes. So what do you make of these photographs? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.